What up YouTube? I am Chili Dog and I am about to prove that Michael Brown did not charge Darren Wilson during the shooting. So what we have is here's Canefield. Here's the SUV. After the fight at the SUV, Brown started heading this way. Wilson followed him. Probably about 175 feet. Brown turned around, started coming back towards Wilson. We know from the blood trail that Brown got 25 feet before he fell. There is an audio recording of the gunshots that last six and a half seconds with a three second pause. So the gunshots last six and a half seconds and there's a three second pause. That means that Brown crossed that 25 feet in three and a half seconds. Now if you do a little math, you go 25 divided by 3.5, that equals seven feet per second. Seven feet per second equals 4.8 miles per hour. An average human being walks about four miles an hour. An average jogger jogs about 10 miles an hour. So that means Michael Brown was a little bit tall than average. So basically he was walking. That was maybe a quick walk that Michael Brown was doing. Now some of you may say, may say well what if he was moving faster before the pause? Okay, that would mean that he was moving a lot slower after the pause. Why did Wilson shoot him? If you say, maybe he charged after the pause. That means he was walking slower before the pause. Why did Wilson shoot him? The fact of the matter is, this is physical evidence from the cops proving that Michael Brown traveled basically 4.8 miles per hour during the shooting, which is basically a quick walk. And there you have it. Thank you.